going to just talk. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to talk. So now's your chance to just go do something else if you don't want to hear me talk. And if you want to be just as surprised as I am about what I'm going to talk about, stick around. So for those of you that don't know me, um, my name is Zordia. I live in a travel trailer. It's pretty large. It's like 38 feet, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, island kitchen. Um, we purchased it in 2021 after we realized that we just were not going to be able to afford to buy a home. Um, 2019, we were trying to buy a home. 2020 happened. And it was really weird. There was like people coming over to Washington just buying houses like in cash and we just couldn't compete. But we could buy a travel trailer. Our travel trailer was about $81,000 or something like that. And compared to the house prices at that time, I was like, yes. Let's just buy a trailer. Let's let's do a little traveling and then you know what? Live in it if we have to. And we uh, ended up doing that. Um, our rent just kept going higher and higher and we felt trapped. I felt trapped. My husband took a little more convincing to go live on a piece of land in a trailer because he had lived in one before and he wasn't really excited about the idea and I just didn't want to be trapped in a lease anymore. I wanted to be able to get up and go and then eventually us purchase our own piece of land and just live there. Um, fast forward to 2024, we still don't own a piece of land yet and we have revisited purchasing a house again and that just didn't happen. We are on a piece of property now. It's not ours. Um, the family owns it. And the plan is to stick around for a few years and then still try to buy a piece of land. Now that we've been through the whole um, purchasing, purchasing a home process and shit, we're just not finding what we want. And we've been living in this travel trailer now for like three years and we're comfortable on it. We don't really need a whole lot. We have shit in storage and that works for us. I just go swap my stuff out in storage. It's not a big deal. Um, we're used to it. We are now living in a colder climate, so I haven't lived in below zero weather in a travel trailer before so that's new and we are getting ready for that big first winter we were living on the west side of the mountains and it was really cold and wet and we dealt with a lot of mildew within the first couple months of living in our trailer in the mountains there was already we were finding mold everywhere it was just too moist we got a dehumidifier for 3,000 square feet, you know, just so it could run the whole place. And we were dumping that like two, three times a day because it was collecting so much moisture. Now we're in the desert. We have the opposite issues. No mold, it's great. Don't have to worry about that. But it's so fucking hot. <laughs> in the summer, it's like 115 degrees and it's only like 20 degrees less inside the trailer. So um, this summer, it's been like 85, 90 degrees in there, which is cooler than outside, but it was a challenge keeping the place cool enough. And now the temperatures are dropping to the 30s at night. Suddenly, it's, it's October 1st and bam, it's fucking cold. So, we're trying to jump ahead on that. 
we were so busy trying to keep our place cool now we got to warm it up um, that shouldn't be as much of an issue I don't think but like I said it gets below zero here it gets really cold and windy the wind has been extreme luckily we're kind of um, behind this shop and next to another travel trailer which is great at blocking some of the wind because uh, there's a lot of dust and just sand and dirt around here so everything is constantly dirty like I literally just changed <clears throat> these um, and they are all dirty my idea was let me switch those out and put some clean ones on and they got dirty the same day so it's hard to keep things clean around here our dog doesn't mind he loves the dirt but getting ready for winter is going to be a little different because not only is it going to be super cold but we're trying to figure out how to protect the garden the greenhouse um, most of that stuff's probably going to die I had planned on getting some solar panels and shit like that but that's not priority right now um, we got a shed to store some stuff to keep it out of the snow that was a little more um, urgent and then uh, purchasing all the stuff in the uh, plywood and the insulation to insulate the bottom of our trailers that that was another priority and then getting our vehicles ready for winter new windshield wipers making sure our tires are good shit like that that's pretty much what we've been up to it's been honestly I love it an exciting challenge and more freedom definitely more freedom um, after three years I know what to expect I know how to run this thing myself if my husband's gone out of town I know how to flush the toilets I know all that shit like pretty self-sustainable <laughs> and we live on a well so we just get that water which is gonna be another challenge uh, pipes are definitely gonna freeze we're gonna uh, probably purchase more um, containers to hold water in we already have a few but I want to be overly prepared over here so we have more running water to drink and cook I don't really care about showering I can go shower at someone's house if I need to, but I want to be able to drink water. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Right now I'm going to ravel up a fucking extension cord um, because it's, I've been wanting to do it all week. It's pretty much what I'm up to today. <laughs>